Hello mum and welcome to your birth series. Within the birth series we are looking at pelvic girdle pain or PGP. Whether you want to know what it is, how you get it, what are the causes, what are the treatments and let's even look at yoga. That's yoga to help prevent PGP and if you do get PGP how you can labour with it. I hope you find this series interesting, you can gain a lot from it. Please do pass on to your mum friends and help spread the word and together we can empower mums on the pregnancy and birth journey. Like, subscribe and I look forward to seeing you for the series on PGP. So what is pelvic girdle pain or PGP? Or well, you may hear it called symphys pubic dysfunction or SPD. So what is it? Well, it's uncomfortable symptoms and pain in the hips, in the thighs, in the joints. So it's caused by stiffness of the pelvic joints or the joints moving unevenly. So it can be either at the back or the front of the pelvis. But how do you get PGP? So if your joints are moving unevenly, this can cause pelvic girdle pain. Or maybe the pelvic girdle is less stable. Also extra weight, so as baby grows and there's more weight, there's more strain on the pelvis. Also throughout your pregnancy you'll notice you stand differently, you sit differently. And the changes in the way that you stand and you sit can also put more strain on your pelvis. So the best thing to do is try to remain the same as you did, sit nice and aligned as you did prior to being pregnant. So the biggest question is, do I have it? Well, ask yourself the questions. Do I feel any pain in my hips, in my thighs, in my groin? And also, is there a clicking or a almost grinding sensation in the pelvic area? If you do have pain when you're standing on one leg, so if you stand on one leg and there's pain, you're not balanced, that's another way to ask yourself, do I have pelvic girdle pain? Also, when you're moving your legs not together, so you're moving them separately. For example, if you're climbing out of your car, getting out of bed, walking up or down the stairs. So if you're experiencing pain here. Now, the best thing to do if you have answered yes to any of those things is not to self-diagnose and think, yes, I've got pelvic girdle pain, is to go and see a medical professional. What they're going to do is they are going to check out your posture. They're going to check your hip and your back and your movement and they will be able to tell whether you have pelvic girdle pain. And if you do, they will be able to give you advice on what to do. Don't worry if you do have it. Yes, it can be uncomfortable. Sometimes it stays the whole of pregnancy. Sometimes it goes. What you can do is help yourself, listen to the advice. You can still even yoga. Please do make sure you tell your yoga teacher if you do have pelvic girdle pain, as there's lots of different moves they can put you into. So that is, what is pelvic girdle pain and its causes? Thank you and namaste. I hope you have enjoyed this video, mum. I hope it's helped you and you have learnt from it. If you have, please do share with your friends. We're going to help all the mums on their motherhood journey and help empower and educate mums. Do subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with all the new videos, whether that's meditation, yoga or birth education. Like, subscribe and share with your friends. And see you on the next video, mum.